One of the earliest types of information transmitting devices in the English-speaking countries was the so-called visual telegraph invented in 1794 by Lord George Murray. The system consists of lifted platforms located on the tower. There were six round holes in the sides of each platform. The holes can be closed with wooden shutters, similarly to the way the six dots form Brockler system. These shutters can be moved to closed or open positions by the rods from the control desk, creating up to 64 combinations in this way. All the shutters must be moved simultaneously to avoid mistakes in code transmission. The first installation of Murray's system was mounted on the building of Admiralty in London in February 1796. However, as sunny days are rare in London, the telegraph worked not more than 25 days per year. Nevertheless, the similar systems became rather popular in Europe. This kind of installations existed in the Netherlands and Germany. The system that lasted the longest was the one installed on the Netherlandish island Curaçao, the Antilles, in the middle of the 19th century. It was pictured in a number of photos of 1880s. The system was reconstructed at the beginning of the 20th century and operated until 1917, before the Second World War was disassembled. The last examples of the visual telegraph were the truck-mounted movable stations or visual telegraphs, which were used in the British Army in the early 50s of the past century.